classification of variables. So data falls into a couple of different categories. So we've got quantitative and qualitative. Variables associated with numerical observations are called quantitative variables, whereas variables associated with non-numerical observation are called qualitative variables. So a quantitative variable has numerical answers, so it could be looking at time, weight, length, whereas non-numerical observations like qualitative data is going to be things like it could be eye colour, it could be what's your favourite colour. And this can be important to know whether you're working with qualitative data or quantitative data when you're looking at finding uh, mean, median and mode because when you're finding the mean you can only do that when you are given quantitative data. When you've got numerical values that is the only time that you can find a mean. You cannot also you cannot find a median for quantitative variables because you don't have any numerical values to put in order whereas you can find the mode for qualitative data. So the difference is quantitative data is numerical whereas qualitative is non-numerical. There's also another variation you can also have within your data. You can also have continuous data or discrete data. So a variable can take a value in a given range is a, is a continuous variable whereas a variable that can only take specific values in a given range is a discrete variable. So continuous variable, the only ones you really will come across with are things like time, weight and length, which, which can take any value. So if you look in your class, you could have people of varying different heights, whereas discrete variables are things which are specific values. For example, for example number of 10 peas in a bag or the number of balls in a bag, etc. So, several different things to consider when we're talking about data. So, whether it's qualitative or quantitative, or whether it's continuous or discrete data that we are working with.